Hi everybody, welcome back to the kitchen. Today I am trying the Green Pan Advanced Electric Griddle with Warming Drawer. This is the 10 and a half inch model by 20 inch. There is also a 12 by 15 inch model. This is a ceramic nonstick coating free of PFAS, PFOA, cadmium, lead, none of the chemicals you don't want ending up on your food. This coating is extra tough and cleans easily. It is not the first time I have used this product. I used it earlier to make pancakes. Worked great, just wiped clean, super easy. But today I am making breakfast sandwiches. Temperature control is very easy. There is one dial, you simply turn it up as high as you want to go. My philosophy is use high unless you have a reason not to. I'm just going to turn this on high right now. And while we are waiting for this to warm up, I will note that there is a hole here where all the grease will come out and go into this drip tray. I don't know how much that would hold. It looks like about maybe a cup. But the warming drawer is on this side. Um, you could probably, well, you could easily get a, a whole package of bacon in there. Or, I don't know, two pancakes. <laughs> it's not a big warming drawer. This is a 12 ounce package of bacon. There should be about 12 slices of bacon in here. We'll see how many of them fit on the griddle. I don't know if I can get a whole package on here at once, but if it cooks quickly, I guess it doesn't matter. And we're, we've got lots to cook today. I am making triple meat sandwiches, sausage, bacon, Canadian bacon. Plus we'll have to cook the eggs too. And I think I will toast the English muffins as well. While these are cooking, I will get an apron. If you normally cook an entire package of bacon, I can see how the larger size would work better for you. Um, for a smaller family, for a couple, for a single person, this size would be fine. I don't know if you can see, but along the edge of the griddle, there is a channel that is directing all of the bacon fat down into the drip tray. Everybody has different preferences when it comes to bacon. I like mine to be crispy, but not burned to a crisp, <laughs> if that makes sense. I think this is about down here. Laying it on paper towels to absorb the excess grease. They say that this is a super tough coating, but I still use rubber or plastic utensils when I'm working with it. And when I have this in storage, I put a towel on top of it. I just want to keep it nice. Okay, I lowered the heat down to medium. Um, this is really hot. And I have six English muffins, so I'm going to divide this extra spicy hot sausage into six patties and cook them up. Sausage patties are looking good. Perhaps not quite evenly. I should have weighed these. Not quite evenly made here, but they'll be fine. Six sandwiches, six eggs. Touch of cream for the eggs. I think the sausage is done. Let's remove it and put it with the bacon. I don't know how much egg to put in these to stretch it out for six sandwiches. I'm going to use a third of a cup. If I need more egg in the end, I have extra. It's an art, not a science. Little salt and pepper. Well, 
While I'm waiting for those, I'm going to slice my English muffins. The intention is to freeze these and just take them out as I need them. I work from home and I'd rather just roll out of bed and start working rather than taking a lot of time to make breakfast in the morning. As a last step, I'm going to brown the muffins. I'll put a little bacon fat on the muffin just to toast them up a bit. Pressing down on the muffins with a spatula so I can get more surface area for the toasting. These are looking good. You wouldn't have to do this part, but I think it'll taste better. <laughs> Slices of jalapeno cheese. Which I think will be delicious and a nice complement to the spicy sausage. How you assemble these really doesn't matter. I think I'll just start with the Canadian bacon since it's closest. And maybe the egg. Well, these eggs are kind of large. Now the cheese. I'm going to slice these in half. And we're done. Uh, the only thing left is to put this in some kind of a container, whatever, a bag or a something, put them in the freezer, and then they'll be ready for breakfast tomorrow. The Green Pan electric griddle with warming drawer performed well. Compared to my old griddle, this gets hot. I actually did have to turn the temperature down, but that's a good thing. I have options now. I didn't actually use the warming drawer in this particular case. I wasn't trying to keep anything warm. This is a make ahead deal. The drip tray performed well. I don't know if you're a person that saves their bacon grease, but this is an easy way to do that. When I clean a griddle, I just take a wet paper towel and throw it on top of a hot griddle and use a spatula just to wipe it down. And you won't be able to get the handles with this, obviously, but I'll, I'll do that later. The one exception is that I, I do take the drip pan and put that in the dishwasher uh, just because I don't want it to it's not easy as easy to clean that all right I like the green pan advanced electric griddle it does everything it says it'll do it performs well I'm going to give this a five out of five star rating thanks for stopping by